Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2020 Battle Series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode we're going to be featuring a team in Series 6 based all around Alolan Persian and Dracozolt. So Alolan Persian, one of the Pokemon that I have had a fondness for for a very long time since it was introduced in Sun and Moon, and a very strong Pokemon. Has good disruption through Fake Out, through Parting Shots, Snarl, Taunt, the list goes on. Um, we're using it in this team as our primary speed speed control Pokemon because we give it Icy Wind, it does get access to that move and it really su helps support things like Dracozolt really well. Obviously the other Pokemon on the team do benefit from that as well and the other team members are made up of the Urshifu, Amoongus, Arcanine and Corviknight. So this is the team, as always there is a poker paste down in the description below and at the end of the episode I will throw up a rental team for you all to try and take on the ladder for yourselves. So I'm going to jump in, do a couple of games, we'll explain how the team works and how the kind of the ins and outs of it are meant to run uh, so you can get an idea of what this team is capable of and hopefully you enjoy it and as always if you do please remember to drop a like on the video if you're new to the channel do hit that subscribe button so you can have more of this content and uh, hit that notification so you don't miss anything when it does pop up on the channel so we've got a first opponent uh, they are playing a team of Primarina, Volcarona, Grimmsnarl, Serena, Mudsdale and Dusclops so they've got a definite hard trick room mod there with the Dusclops being the main trick room setter uh, Mudsdale and Primarina probably more likely to be your kind of big powerhouses under the trick room and then you've got uh, Serena which prevents any sort of fake out priority uh, support from our end uh, Grimmsnarl maybe light screen support you would imagine and it's probably uh, on tempo Mudsdale I would imagine because it looks like they're probably going for some sort of swagger abuse uh, here so we've got to be careful with that um, obviously Dracozolt is very good against uh, a number of these Pokemon including the, the Primarina it doesn't do too bad against Volcarona to be honest um, but it has to be careful for, for, for definitely that Mudsdale so we need to be very wary around that Pokemon. Um, okay, now and, and obviously Amoongus is going to be a big player for us here as well. If they do set the Trick Room up, it is a way for us to stop the Mudsdale and um, kind of go from there. Okay, so what are we going to do? I think we will bring. Do we want? Do we want per Persian here? That's the thing. Um, Persian might be decent. Let's go Dracozolt, Persian, Urshifu, and Amoongus. There's an argument here definitely for Corviknight. I think Corviknight would do very well, obviously, against the, the uh, Volcarona, the Grimmsnarl, um, and Zarina, but we haven't included it here. Obviously, ticking down time uh, on our own with the uh, chatting about the team and team preview kind of cuts into that a little bit. But I think what we've selected can do a job. We just need to play carefully around what my opponent's going to do. They've got a lot of different modes that they can go with. And obviously coming out straight away with the Grimmsnarl and the Mudsdale, you've got to suspect that they're going to go screens, swagger support. Um, I think so. That's that's something that we need to watch out for in particular. Um, we've got a fake out into the Grimmsnarl turn one for sure. Um, and I think, well, if we get Urshifu onto the field, it's a nice option. Um... Because then we can just search and strikes into the Mudsdale. And because it's not got uh, the stamina ability, or it's unlikely to have the stamina, then we can make use of search and strikes and maybe get rid of it quite quickly. I still need to be careful around the Grim Snarl, of course, because obviously they do tend to carry a Spirit Break, which can do a lot of damage to us and potentially knock us out. Although we do have the, the Sash here, we'll have to see where the Mudsdale goes. Um, and yeah, they're going straight for the max of the Mudsdale. Um, I can imagine. What are we going to go for? Max Knuckle, maybe? I think Max Knuckle would make sense into Persian here, which we should take. Uh, and we can go for a parting shot the next turn, Surging Strikes into Mudsdale. Um, don't really care about the screens, obviously, with the crits that we'll be getting. But it might be a case that we could potentially go for um, Max Urshifu. Max Knuckle coming out, yep. And that's going to be into Persian. Like we expected. So our sash stays intact, which is the main thing here. Um, the, the one worry that we've got to uh, consider now is the swagger um, from the Grim Snarl. Uh, and I really want to keep Persian because I think if they go for the swagger combination, um, then at least we can utilize foul play maybe a little bit later on in this match. There's a 
part of me that wants a max but I don't think we do I think we just surgeon strikes into the mudsdale here and just try and get some damage off into it and what like the thing is with my opponent's team if you looked at it on team preview once the mudsdale goes down like Drakozolt has a really good time against most of the things on my opponent's side of the field uh, we'll bring in Amoongus because it just gives us a little bit of room to slow my opponent down um, we've got the redirection we've got the spore there that we can take advantage of as well so let's see what my opponent goes for um, it looks like the Grimmsnarl will probably attack into Urshifu here so they may double down into us uh, on this turn as we do get the Surgeon Strikes not doing enough to the Mudsdale though even, uh, even though we are critting into a super effective attack there's a Spirit Break this should take us down to our Sash which isn't good maybe in hindsight we would have been better off going maybe for a protective version for switch amoongus in and then the next turn we could go for potentially something like um the rage powder surgeon strikes okay so it definitely limits our options what we've got to um make use of mudsdale here okay so do we bring in we could bring in dracozolt in all honesty, um, I think it's not a bad play at all. Um, we still need to watch out for the Spirit Break. And I do worry about Grimmsnarl having Taunt, for sure. Yeah, I think the last turn, I think we protect Urshifu, get Amoongus onto the field. We missed a trick there, definitely. Now, we could Rage Powder here just to take away the potential Taunt. Um, and we could go for Max Wormwind, which isn't a bad play at all. Um... And it would pull away both attacks. And this is Mudsdale's, I think, last turn of its max. Um, this next one. So we'll have two more turns after this. Um, obviously, the Grimstar can't Thunder Wave uh, Dracozolt. So as long as we've got Amoongus next to us and we're not taunted, we do enough damage to the Mudsdale this turn. We'll be in a good place to, to get rid of it the following turn, for sure. Oh, Rage Powder from Asus. And also the Rage Powder is nice because it pulls in potential Swagger that could come out. Yeah, okay, that's good. But we do avoid, so that's even better for us. And we're going to get the, uh, the Wormwind, which will put Mudsdale back down to minus one um, and definitely put it in range for this next turn. So we don't need to worry about Taunt. Uh, Amoongus is going to be the perfect partner for us in this situation. We'll probably see a Max Quake come out from the Mudsdale now into Amoongus, but minus one, it's not going to really be doing as much as my opponent would like it to be doing it does boost their special defense but at the same time we don't need to worry about that too much now the thing that we do need to worry about a little bit this next turn is my opponent switching the mudsdale out for um potentially something like primarina to take the um potential max woman that would likely come into that slot now we've got a couple of options here what we could potentially do is a uh, rage powder again and go for Max Lightning into Grimmsnarl uh, or we could Max Quake into Mudsdale um, and get rid of it that way. It gives us a special defense boost as well which is also nice um, but Grimmsnarl's just a, a nasty Pokemon it might be better going for the Grimmsnarl now it's not likely to have Protect um, and if we can get rid of it or just get an electric terrain up it kind of bodes well for the for the rest of the, of the remainder of this game I think. Uh, we can't make use of Spore as soon as we do set this up, so we've got to be mindful of that as well. So there is that little conflict there, but I don't think we necessarily need this Spore in this situation. So I'm not going to see any switches, which is surprising. Um, but we do get the Max Lightning into the Grim Snarl. Looks like we're just going to see a double attack here into that Amoongus. So um, we are able to get Electric Train up, which is perfect. Get rid of the Grim Snarl. Um, and the mud's still likely to go for another high horsepower here, I'd imagine. Unless it has Earthquake, and it could lock into that. No, it's just high horsepower. Okay, so we took the max one pretty well, um, and we're taking that one even even more comfortable, obviously. So, got one more turn of our max left as we see the Serena come on to the field. Now, Serena going to be immune to um, the Rage Powder. So, I think... It might be better if we get Persian onto the field now. At least it gives us a bit of support. It gets a, the regenerator going on Amoongus. And I think I'll go for Max... Mm, uh, it's risky going for Max Wormwind, honestly. Um, just for the fact that... And oh, we could go for Max Wormwind into Serena. Because Serena could be a bit, little, little bit of an issue. Mm. 
could be a bit of an issue. What am I better? Like, yeah, I think we got Whirlwind into Serena. Try and get rid of that. I don't really mind us taking high horsepower with Dracozol. It's minus one. We're, we're max. Not going to be doing the, the. Well, it's going to be minus two now as well. It's not going to be doing the most damage. If we can get rid of Serena. Okay, so we take it down to its sash. That's fine. I don't envisage my opponent going for a high, a high jump kick or anything like that into Amoongus. Doesn't make much sense. Um, triple Axel. Okay, so that's fine. Is going to be doing more damage each turn, of course. And the high horsepower will stack with this. Okay, yeah. But if it is Primarina in the back, like at this point, we don't mind. As long as we take care of both of these Pokemon, then it's kind of fine. Uh, we can just Icy Wind here. Obviously, we can't fake out because of the Queenly Majesty or the potential of the Queenly Majesty. And we'll just Dragon Claw into Mudsdale. There's, uh, yeah, I mean. The Mudsdale has got those special defense boosts, so the Icy Wind not going to be enough to take it down. So, hopefully we can get rid of both of these Pokemon. And then, I would imagine it is the Primarina in the back, potentially. So the Icy Wind does hit. Perfect. It's rid of the Serena. There's a little bit of chip to that Mudsdale. And I mean, even if if we if things go really pear-shaped here, yeah, I think Amoongus is still in a good shape to kind of close this one up for us, but... A Dragon Claw does hit, which is brilliant, and um, that's the one worry you've got to have about Drake's ult when it does its max turns finish. Obviously, Hustle kicks in, and uh, you've got to you've got to be super concerned about that. And we'll see. Oh, it's Volcarona. Okay, so that's not ideal, honestly. Um, huh. The Mungus isn't going to appreciate that at all. Okay, so I think we have to Icy Wind and just Bald Beak. I think. The Volcarona. The only thing that would worry me is if it's like, if it's scarfed. Um, I'm gonna just protect this turn. We'll see. Uh, we'll just scout out what they're gonna do. They may Quiver Dance, which would be not great for us, but we'll see. Okay, so they're not scarfed. And even if they Quiver Dance here, it's not the end of the world because we're kind of just reducing that speed and keeping it in check at least if they do boost it by one now. I'm going Fury Dance into the Drake Assault, so uh, that works out perfectly for us. So we can Parting Shot now with Volcarona um, and go for a Bold Beak, and that should be enough to pick up the Knockout with the Electric Train boost there. Um, obviously going to Parting Shot, reduce the Special Attack and Attack. Uh, special Attack being the most important one on the Volcarona, of course. Um, and we've just got to hope that our Bold Beak will connect and... If it does, that will be GG. GG! The Bob Week. It does hit. Dragozol doesn't let us down. And that is going to be more than enough to take down this Volcarona. And that is good game to my opponent. And a nice win for us to pick up here to start us off today. So, you can see kind of how Persian uh, interacts there. I mean, there were definitely players in that game. But we could have made a little bit differently. But I think Persian kind of showing its, its support role pretty well especially next to Dracozol and what it can do in these games even against something like Mudsdale that is a little bit more tricky for us to, to play around with so uh, pick up a nice win and we will move on to our next opponent and uh, hopefully we can pick up a couple of wins today and it's always nice just playing different archetypes um, and showing a little bit different areas of the team um, to showcase on these episodes because then just gives you guys an idea of how things are meant to at least operate and what some of the potential Pokemon can do. Okay, so we've got our next opponent playing Inteleon, Sylveon, Amoongus, uh, Vanillux, Bronzong and a lot of Marowak. So, uh, I mean the, the first thing you've got to notice is the, um, the Inteleon here. It's going to outspeed everything on our team and is it makes things pretty difficult for us. Also the... Um, the Sylveon as well, uh, with the type of voice, hits a lot of things on our team for, for good damage. And now I think Amoongus is good here, but you've got to worry about potentially uh, Vanillux uh, Inteleon lead, which would be super bad for us, like really, really bad. Um, I'm going to lead Persian and Drake Assault. Uh, because I think like it doesn't do bad against most things. The thing that we need to keep in mind as well if we are bringing the Drake result is that the Alola Marowak could come out uh, from my opponent. I do want Amoongus and I think probably Urshifu is going to be our best bet as our last Pokemon. It does leave us short for answers against Amoongus for sure. Um, 
Do we need a Moongus? That's the thing. Like, would we be better with Corviknight, maybe, as our last one? It's just, Corviknight really doesn't enjoy the Alolan Marowak, whereas Arcanine doesn't as well. I think it might be better if we shut down stuff with a Moongus. Um... We just have to make use of things like Draco's Alt if we are uh, if we see the Amoongus from my opponent, which I'd imagine we probably do. Um, yeah, this one's going to be really tricky. I think Inteleon's definitely a Pokemon that's been slept on uh, quite a lot. It's definitely a Pokemon I'd like to feature on the channel. Uh, if you're interested in seeing an Inteleon-based team, do let me know down in the comment section below. I'll make sure to get something put together quite quickly for, for all of you. So we do see the Vanillux and we do see the Inteleon come up for my opponent here. Now we've got to worry about Double Blizzard for sure. That's definitely something that we can't uh, ignore. Um, there's a part of me that just wants to go Icy Wind here with Persian. Um, I do I do worry about Inteleon just maxing. But do you ignore Dracozol? That's the thing, like, do you ignore it? I don't know if you can. And there's a potential that we max here as well, so I think... <sighs> like, what's the worst case scenario if, if we do? Mm, okay, I mean, we... Yeah, it's not brilliant. I'm going to go for the Icy Wind, and I'm going to protect here. Hope. I think Dracozolt is too much of a target for my opponent not to to uh, attack into. I'm going to see the Alola Marowak actually come in, which might be... A blessing in disguise here if they go blizzard because uh, Persian will take a blizzard yeah and we get the icy wind off which will be perfect for us in all honesty um, because it would allow us are you kidding are you kidding oh come on <laughs> okay well we're frozen completely which is no good um huh. that really doesn't help us at all uh yeah, so we. Uh, <laughs> now Persian going to go down to the next lizard. Um, okay. Yeah, this makes things very difficult for us. Like, extremely difficult for us. Because um, if we got that icy wind, we'd be in such an incredible position this next turn. I think, like, now we need to go max quick into. The uh, Alola Marowak need to max. It's the only way we're going to be able to survive a blizzard. Well, we'll probably take a blizzard anyway, but to take it comfortably or more comfortably, uh, that freeze has really kind of uh, slowed us down here, like massively. <sighs> okay, well, we'll just have to deal with it. This is what happens sometimes. It is a mechanic of the game. Couldn't have come at a worse time, though. Couldn't have come at a worse time. And we're going to see Max Teleon, I would imagine. Are we? Or is it going to be Marowak? No, it is the Marowak. Huh. Okay. We're probably going to take Max Quake then. Okay. That surprises me that they're Max and Marowak. Um, we need Persian to wake up. Yeah, really, honestly. And uh, not wake up. Not unfreeze. I don't... Are you joking? <laughs> Double freeze! No way. Oh, well that's 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 game already. That is game. There's nothing we can do now. Nothing. Um Literally when the game says the game says that it doesn't want you to win and that's exactly what is happening. <sighs> okay, well Let's see if we can turn this round. Um, I'm not feeling massively confident right now, but let's not give up just yet. We still have Urshifu. Might be able to do something. I don't know though. Uh, not the kind of game you want to be featuring on the channel, but I guess it's, you know, it, this stuff happens. That happens. We'll go for um, a Giga Drain and we'll have to go for Surgeon Strikes into Marak. I don't think it's going to be enough, but we can we can only try. Uh, we'll go for a Giga Drain into Inteleon. That should be enough to take Inteleon down. Inteleon's like a bit of paper, so it will go down to most things. 
<clears throat> there's a blizzard. Of course, unless we get frozen again by everything. No freezes this time, which is which is great. Can we get? Nah, it's not going near going to be enough. Nowhere near. Depends where you target, though. I mean, where are you going with um, the Marak? You probably go after Urshifu, to be honest. But there's a chance you may go after Amoongus. Maybe scared of the the sleep. Although, yeah, that's it. And now Amoongus is not going to be able to do this by itself. No way. The freezes killed us like early on. There wasn't really very much we could do. The, the double freeze you would never like you can deal with we could have dealt with maybe one freeze but not not double not double not on our maximum either so that kind of kills us off um okay well there is not much to say about this other than rng can be horrible sometimes and you just got to deal with it and just think well okay that has happened there's probably better ways to get around it, but the team that we're running, obviously, uh, that's the kind of... I mean, we could have led Arcanine, but you don't want to lead Arcanine into Inteleon, right? I mean, it's a nice switch in for the Blizzards, but then it's got Snipe Shot. There's a potential Ignores Max as well, so... It's a tough pick in that one, definitely. Uh, good game to our opponent. I'll say it. Um, I'm only messing now, good game. Um, but yeah, the Freezes. Freezes is probably one of the worst... The worst RNG mechanics. I just think they need to to adjust it, like because the switch, the the freeze mechanics are terrible. Okay, so as I said at the start of the episode, it's a little bit shorter this one than normal, but it's fine. Um, I will throw up the rental team. We had a good game, game one, and the main thing is to try and get a team up for you guys so you can start testing it out as soon as possible if you'd like to so which one are we going to take down i think we'll probably take because like i've said before we'll be starting to take these teams down shortly and i'll we'll be moving them over to my other cart so um if there are teams that we've got up here that you would like to see put over to the cart, like my other cart and featured, I will be taking these down, obviously. Normally a two-week cycle, I'll keep teams up for and then replace them with other teams. So we will make this one public. Um, but like I say, if there are teams that I've had up rental teams previously that you'd like to see up again, do let me know. I'll move them over to my other switch and then I can, I can keep them up over there. We can have more than uh, your normal content creator can keep up okay so there is the rental team my friends i'll try and move out the way so you can get the code there uh and uh i hope you have a lot of fun trying it out and um, it is a good team i think i have a lot of fun with it obviously when you're not getting frozen half the time um and i think there's uh, a lot of potential to do really well with this team it's got good synergy it can work well in most situations you've just got to play a little bit smart against some things because obviously there are a lot of tricky teams in this format but for the most part it's got good answers to the majority of teams that you're going to see and Drakozol is just an incredible Pokemon in general so hope you've enjoyed today's episode thank you so much as always for tuning in um, and uh, if you do try the team out do let me know down below in the comment section love to hear as always uh, do leave a like if you have enjoyed it and as I said earlier if you're new to the channel and you like this sort of content please make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on so you know when these videos are going live so we'll wrap it up there take care of yourselves friends have a great rest of your day and and I'll catch up with you all very soon. So until then, take care and bye-bye.